Scorpio, Scorpio rising, Scorpio ascendant, or if you have Scorpio in the first house. So, Scorpios are known to be ruled by Pluto and a co-ruler of Mars. So, it's very intense, it's very strong, and you can see it with their physical appearance, you know. It does not have to be something obvious in terms of their body, but just looking at them, there is some form of vibration of intensity and attraction. It's like, you know, their sexual energies are oozing um, and you can just feel it in a very energetical level. Also, you can see it in their eyes, you know, there is something peculiar and prominent with their eye features, you know, and there is an attraction feature in that. It's very strong. Um, also, people are quite attracted with their eyes as well. There's just something about their eyes that as if they are seeing through you, you know, just one look. You know, I, I remember having uh, a meeting a man who has a very strong car Scorpio in their chart. They're not a Scorpio rising but they have a, you know, all of their planets are in Scorpio. And just one look with that, with that man, it made me feel as if I was naked. It's like he was seeing everything in me. And it was quite of a, an experience. And that is mostly the things that you can um, see with um, Scorpio people. And also they do love black, you know. Um, Maybe it's just their nature or or so, but they love black and they look good at it. There is that energy as well. And, you know, sometimes they don't even need to make an effort with their clothing and, or how they present themselves because whatever outfit they wear, there's like, you know, what do you call it? Pheromones or something like that, you know, whatever outfit they have or whatever how they present themselves, there's going to be an oozing of sexual energies and people are just going to be attracted to them. That is also a reason why that we have a lot, a lot, whole lot of celebrities who are Scorpio Risings. And the people, the celebrities that were in the Scorpio Rising have become super popular, like off the charts. And I'll mention that later on. So... The thing with Scorpio rising people is that they like peace and harmony. They like to connect with a person in a very strong, energetical level. But at the same time, they tend to attract problems and conflicts as well. So it's very easy for them to get into scandals. It's very easy. You know, I, I don't mean to say in a celebrities, even if you're not a celebrity, you can have a very scandalous kind of um, relationship or scandalous type of scenario once or twice in your life. You will experience that. Also, um, there could be some form of conflicts in there, you know. It's like there's a love and hate when it comes to relationships. Probably because, you know, when it comes to their love lives, it is the area of Pisces in their fifth house. So... They can be quite confused. They don't know what they want. You know, it's like, I know what I want, but at the same time, I don't know what I want. Maybe because of that ideal, idealistic mindset they have when it comes to relationships. It's more of they don't have a concrete thing in their mind. It's really more of, I want to feel this way. I want this type of scenario it's like, you know, there is something blurry in terms of their love life. But really, what is really most important for um, Scorpio rising people is more of the connection that they make. And this is not about intellectual kind of thing. It's not about practical practicality of life. This is really more of the um, emotional connection that they make. This is also the reason why sometimes when it comes to their love lives, they are forced to make sacrifices or at the very least, they need to sacrifice something. Either they are sacrificing their love lives into something else 
to maybe their work, or maybe they need to sacrifice something in the name of love. That is quite common for them. Though, once they go into a relationship with someone, they can really stick by that, you know, they are a fixed sign. And they also have Taurus in their seventh house, so they can be one of the most loyal people that you can come across with. Very loyal type of person to be with. They have their Cancer in their ninth house, so their goals in life are driven by emotions, you know. Um, but since Cancer is also and still a cardinal sign, this is not a very scattered energy, you know. Yes, I am driven by emotion, but I am going to be doing something to attain that goal, to get to that goal, to receive that, you know, maybe they're fixated with a person that they love. They're going to do everything that they can to get that person and catch that person and be with that person no matter what it takes. You know, um, it doesn't have to make sense. If they feel like it, if they want it, they have to get it. And that's probably why, you know, a lot of Scorpio rising people are always driven by their personal desires. They do have Leo in their 10th house. And we have already talked about Leo, about always about personal desires and wanting to have it all, you know. So they can be driven by their own ego most of the time. And also when it comes to... Um, their reputation or with how other people see them, um, they can be very popular, very well known, like the life of the party kind of person. And they can be, they can easily become a very influential person as well. That is the reason why we, we can see a lot of Scorpio rising people very popular, you know, which I will mention later on, like I said. Also, if you want to change a person, a Scorpio Rising's mind, you need to be very practical. You need to give them the facts and details of things. You don't just, you know, you don't take an emotional approach. You need to give them the details of stuff. They do have Virgo in their 11th house. So tell them all the facts and details. Um, you know, Make them believe in it in a very intellectual manner and they will, you know, think about that and maybe apply some form of changes in that. Also, um, despite the fact that they are wanting connection with people, they really value um, connections with few people, but trusted, you know. Trust is a very important factor for a lot of Scorpio rising maybe because they have their third house in Capricorn so you know it's not really a sign that you know wanting to be to be the friend of all it's not really about that it's all about you know um, having a relationship with different types of people that you can really trust and you can really go to um, when things, when crises arise or something like that. Also, they can be very um, mistrustful with things, you know, they can be very suspicious and that is just a common blueprint, a common factor for a lot of Scorpio rising people. They have the tendency to, um, to own everything, you know, possessing something, to own something is very strong. Also, the reason why, you know, Scorpio rising people are very, very strong, not just physically, but energetically as well. They have a ten tendency to have it all or nothing at all, you know, that kind of thing. Also, they can have a lot of wealth, a lot of money in them. They can push through this with their work. They can earn a lot, you know, and if they don't have any money, they can they can really put in a lot of energy to do a lot of things that can, you know, earn them a lot of money at the same time. They have their second house in Sagittarius and, you know, this is about all about gaining a lot of stuff, learning a lot of stuff. They're open to that, you know, and with their first house in Scorpio, 
they can be very intuitive, especially with the right thing to do when there is a trouble, when there is、um, problems in their life. They can be very intuitive, and they can take the right approach, right decision to make to how to proceed with their life and how to proceed with some form of problems. When it comes to crisis, though.、Um, The connections that they make can be able to help them. They need to gather resources and talk to people.、Um, you know, they need to communicate with the people.、Uh, I don't know, maybe people that they they know don't know. They have Gemini in their eighth house, so they need to communicate、um, and gather information so that they can find some form of way to resolve.、Um, Something that is, you know, threatening their lives as a whole, because the eighth house is a very,、um, very,、uh, a house of transformation and a house of crisis all at the same time. So, with their sixth house in the sign of Aries,、um, Scorpio rising people can, you know.、Um, Can be fidgety in a way that something needs to be always happening in their lives, and they always need to be doing something. They, you know, they're really good with always、um, doing a lot of workout, doing a lot of exercise. They need that because nothing. The worst thing for them is to be in a stuck situation that can create and raise a whole lot of frustration in them. You know, and also this is also the reason why they are very impatient people.、Um, very impatient because they always need results. And Aries people, Aries six house can be very impatient.、Um, and you know, when they don't see the results that they want, they can be very I don't know, can really get angry or you know. Can be very very frustrated, and sometimes this is also the reason why it can trigger、um, conflicts with people. At the same time, with this in your,、uh, this is also an area wherein they are able to resolve things. You know, solving problems, solving issues, and they are able to get out of tricky situations in a blink of an eye. You know. Maybe not in the blink of an eye, but they have their own ways to get out of situations and to resolve things. But um, yeah, this is also an area wherein something always needs to start. Also, this is a situation wherein they can be not so good with working with a、uh, with a lot of bosses. You know, when you tell them what to do, they are not really. It's something that they don't want. For the most part, this is why the reason why that you will see a lot of Scorpio rising people having their own businesses or working as a self-employed person because they don't like they don't like it when people tell them what to do. They like to do things by themselves. You know, they like to be their own boss and not being boss around or something like that. So, um, yeah. Um, when it comes to their home life, though, there is a tendency wherein, you know, they might be the weirdos of in their family. Like not really entirely weirdos, but they have Aquarius in their fourth house, so there has to be a sense of freedom.、Um, they can strive to be very independent. They are wanting to maybe get away from family, or maybe.、Um, They're just doing something unorthodox. That is, you know, maybe your family is all about church, all about you know, all about Christ, all about the very traditional side of life, and you suddenly become a porn star, or suddenly you try to do a lot of occult stuff that is very much、um, not what your family wants. Want. Want you to pursue something like that? So you know you could be doing something really weird, really、um, out of the box. You are more into, you are more futuristic with things, and you know you don't like things that are very traditional, very old. So you're willing to experiment and stuff like that. You are more independent, so that can raise a lot of things in there. 
So yeah, I think I have discussed everything that I I can for Scorpio rising people. Please do know that um, this information can quite differ. If probably if you are in the early too early degrees of Scorpio, Scorpio rising, there could be quite of a difference. Also, if you are very late Scorpio, um, that can create a difference because it's either you're near to too much near to the Libra rising or you're too near to the Sagittarius rising. So again, your planets and aspects it makes can create flavor to think so it may not be you know that pinpoint, but uh, you will feel that most of the information that I tell you if you are a Scorpio rising will definitely apply to you. It's part of your blueprint in life. So um yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, if you love this video, please do hit that like button, share the video if you like, or you can also just subscribe to my channel and yeah, I will really appreciate that and I'll see you guys on my next video. Okay, so Mercury retrograde in the sign of Scorpio happening right now. I actually forgot to mention the celebrities that I promised you guys. So I'm just going to be adding this at the end of the video. Um, so celebrities that are known to be um, Scorpio rising is Nicole Kidman, um, Katy Perry. Katy Perry, um, it's like... I believe that everything on her is Scorpio, like Sun in Scorpio, Moon in Scorpio, Scorpio rising, and she has this Leo um, midheaven on her chart. So, you know, if you are wanting a, a biggest sample of a Scorpio person, Katy Perry is probably the number one to go. Also, you know, you can easily see it in the way that she the songs that she releases you know it can be very scorpio like also the way she she presents herself and even with her makeup with the clothes that she wears everything is very scorpio like and you can see that easily on her justin bieber is also a scorpio surprisingly and you all know that you know all of these people that i've mentioned are going to be very big, very popular, you know, and for some reason they can shape the world, you know, you know, depending on what industry that you are or they are, that kind of thing. Tom Cruise is another one who has a Scorpio rising. And then Natalie Portman, Jim Carrey, and Robin Williams as well. And you can easily see them in their eyes, you know, there's something peculiar with their eyes that, you know, can be a bigger factor in them. Also, I forgot to mention that for some reason, um, Scorpio rising people can um, can be puffy in a way in terms of their appearance, especially later in life, they can have water retention issues um, in them. So um, yeah, Scorpio. Um, yeah, thank you again for watching. And with this video, please do support the channel by liking or subscribing to the channel or sharing as well. Thank you.